The primer walking feature in Seekman identifies optimal primer locations for driving the closure of gaps or for filling in areas of low coverage. In this example, I've already assembled a contig and want to check for areas where I need to improve coverage. I'll start by looking at the contig in the strategy view. I single click on the name of the contig, then choose Contig Strategy View. The trace files that make up this contig are from upper and lower strands and overlap at all but the ends of the contig. The thick green area exceeds my stated threshold, the thin cyan blue areas show single direction coverage, and the thin red areas denote single strand coverage. To view the primer walk in setup parameters, I'll select Contig Primer Walk. I want to find coverage parameters, so I'll click the Improve Coverage radio button. I also want to eliminate primers in areas with no sequence coverage on the same strand as the primer. Therefore, I need to click the Require Clone Coverage checkbox. I'll leave everything else at the defaults and click OK. After Seekman locates sequencing primers, it displays the Primer Walking Report. To see the alignment view for the top scoring primer, I'll double click on it. From here, I can open the strategy view by again choosing Contig Strategy View. The thin red horizontal line under the coverage threshold graph corresponds to the bottom strand sequencing primer. Finally, I want to save my primer information. First, I click on the primer walking report to bring it into view. Then I go to the File menu and choose Save Primer Info. I'm going to save my file as Tab Separated Text. Later, I can open the file using Microsoft Excel as well as any text viewer. If you have questions about Primer Walking in Seekman or any other questions about our software, please visit our website at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.